What's up, everyone? Um, you may remember this face from that little Mets rant about a week ago. And uh, this week, I want to address the major strikeout epidemic that's going on in Major League Baseball right now. The reason that this is an epidemic is because we are in the new age of baseball that involves sabermetrics. And what sabermetrics states, now let me start, I don't want to tell you that I disagree with all of sabermetrics because there is a lot of sabermetrics that I think makes a lot of sense, like things like WHIP and OBP. Um, those are the things that I actually think do make sense. Guys get on, guys get on base. Obviously, that that's that's good. Getting on base is good. Whip walks plus hits per innings pitched is another. It's a good barometer of a pitcher to see how well he's doing. That you just don't judge everything by ERA. Although ERA is uh, that that that's not undervalued. Like ER, if a guy's got a two ERA, um, he's doing pretty well. So let's not make it like whips the end all be all like some of these people. But the thing about sabermetrics, it states that an out is an out no matter what, which means that a strikeout is just is just as is equal to a ground ball to second base. Well, guess what? Here's the deal for those of you sabermetrics people, you analytical people who have never played the game before. This is where the issue comes with this line of thinking and the mathematics and the numbers. An out is not an out. They are not all created equal. If nobody's on base, yes, all outs are created equal. So it doesn't matter if you strike out or pop up or whatever. But when there are runners on base, when you have... There's there's things called productive outs. I don't know if you ever heard of this because you probably haven't because you probably have never played a game because you sit behind the computer and have been crunching numbers because you weren't good enough to get on the field. That's besides the point. Let's not go here nor there. But the thing is that when you have a runner on second base and nobody out and you strike out, that's not that's not an, that's not just an out. That's an unproductive at bat because if you hit a ground ball to second base. Now that runner moves to third. So you have a runner on third with one out instead of a runner on second with one out. So let me explain something else to you. There are a lot more ways to score from third base with one out than there are from second. There's also a lot more ways to score from third base with two outs. You don't even have to score. When you're on third base, you don't even need to score on a hit. You could score on an error. You could score on a pass ball. There are that like that thinking that all outs are created equal. This is what is feeding into these teams right now and the fa and that's why there's this the games i'm sorry look i love baseball the games are boring when 15 when you're 27 outs when 15 guys are striking out that that's just it's boring that's why people don't want to watch and it's because these teams are now brainwashed with these analytics that tell you an out is an out an out is not an out and besides the an, they're not all equal okay like Runner on third base with one out. A strikeout is an unproductive out. A fly ball scores a run. You, like, the things that you, you're missing when you're going to tell people that an out is an out is just insanity if you've ever played the game before. So, like I said, there are things that I do agree with. There are things that, you know, have made the game better. But this whole out is an out thing is trash it's garbage it's come from people that have never played that is not the truth so you analytical people if you want to tell me please come at me i want you to come at me please tell me that all outs are created equal give me the numbers and i will dispute you i would love to dispute you on this because it's not true so that's the end of this rant on baseball analytics. There will be more to come, probably a weekly video on some type of baseball rant, but the Mets haven't pissed me off that much this week yet because it's only Tuesday. So now I'm ranting on baseball analytics and how games are boring because of a thousand strikeouts. Also, let's touch on, look, the home run thing. Yeah, I get home runs are great, but look, Joey Gallo, when you step up to the plate and the entire Astros team is on the right side of the infield, just bunt or hit a ground ball to third base oh he's not paid to do that if you if you bunted twice or three times they wouldn't shift you anymore and now your ground ball that you hit through the three four hole is a base hit instead of an out let's think about this let's start getting smarter let's outsmart these analytical geniuses and, and play some baseball get back to the roots you think get just get back to playing smart baseball not analytical baseball that's all i'm asking
I'll see you on the next one.